today I have a fun video. These are some of my recommendations for a drugstore makeup starter kit. So if you're just getting into makeup, I personally recommend starting with drugstore makeup because it's cheap and then you can find things you like such as color schemes and formulas that you enjoy before you start, you know, spending $20 on a lipstick that, you know, you might not love and wear every single day. So I just wanted to show you some of my personal favorites from the drugstore of things from each category that I use. So I'm going to start with foundation because, you know, that's where you typically start on your face. So the foundation that I chose is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. And this is a cult favorite, honestly. I have the color 110, which in the dead of summer, like in August after it's been 90 degrees for three months, this is when this color works for me. So this works for about two months for me in the summertime. And other than that, I have to use a MAC foundation because that's the only one I found that's light enough for me. But this foundation, when it works for me, is actually really good. It, I have pretty dry skin, but I would say that you could probably go normal skin and even a little bit oily with this foundation and it works quite well. I also have pretty sensitive skin sometimes, so it works good for sensitive skin as well. And the foundation coverage is, I would say medium to full. It's pretty full coverage. Next up is concealer, and this one is by Maybelline. This is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Concealer. So this one is kind of a peachy tinted concealer, and it has a little sponge tip applicator. And I personally like to put this underneath my eyes and also on my eyelids to prime my eyelids for eyeshadow. This one is the lightest shade. I think it's I think it's just fair. I don't see a number on here. And as you can probably see, I only have like this much product left, so I used a lot of this. It's almost gone. And this is going to be one of the first times I've ever used up a concealer. So, for me, that's quite impressive. I really like it and you can, you know, adjust your shade based on what you need. But since I'm very fair, I had to go with the lightest color. Speaking of eyeshadow, which I prime my eyelids with that concealer. Here is the eyeshadow palette that I recommend. This is also by Maybelline and this is Maybelline the Nudes palette. And I like this eyeshadow palette because it's only $10. And even though it's drugstore, the quality is really good. This is known to be compared with the Urban Decay Naked palette. And they both have these range of nudes and browns and there's a black here. And this has mattes and shimmers and I found that pretty much all of them are really good quality. Like this is an awesome kind of mid-toned brown that works really well. You can get any kind of look that you want. There's a good range for neutral looks, neutral daytime looks like a cream and a taupe and maybe a little bit of brown in the outer corner. You can go smoky with the black and this dark brown here and you can get some festive looks for like Christmas time with a sparkly gold. There's a ton of things you can do with this palette. It's very versatile for any day, any time of day that you would want to use it. And again, only $10. To top off the eye look, I like to use mascara and eyeliner. And here are two of my top picks. For eyeliner, I love the e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pen. If you guys have been watching me for any amount of time, you know that I rave about this in tons of my videos and favorites videos and tutorials, all kinds of stuff in the past. And this is a great drugstore option. It's a great option in general. It's only like $2, but e.l.f. often does things where it's like 50% off on their website. And this is one of those things that I've gone for 50% off before. So it's a dollar for a great pen. And it's a pretty fine tipped felt pen. It's really dark and black and it stays on pretty well. I wouldn't recommend like rubbing your eyes a whole bunch because I mean, it's not going to stay on. It is only a dollar. But if you're, you know, relatively careful, it's a really good option. And for mascara, I've been loving the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara. I have it on my eyelashes today, and I found that one coat works well for me, but you can definitely build it up. It provides some length, it makes it blacker, it does a little bit of volume, but I personally go for the length. And you know, you can do two, three coats, I build it up even more. Next, I'm going to take this to blush. I personally love the M Milani Baked Blushes, and they have such good blushes in general. They have ones that look like a flower. They have the baked blushes. This one is in Luminoso, but you can use any of their blushes and get a good result. It's smooth, it's buttery, it doesn't kick up any powder. It's just incredibly highly pigmented. It has this nice shimmer to it. I need to pick up like 12 more of their blushes because they're all just really good. And 
This is probably my favorite blush from the drugstore. This is kind of a bonus that I just wanted to throw in because highlighters are really big right now and although you don't necessarily need it to complete your look, I love highlighters. I like to put on my nose, on my cupid's bow, on my cheekbones. I just think they add so much to a look and this is definitely one of my favorites. This is the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter. I have Golden Lights which does pull golden but there's one that's like more champagne, one that's more pink. They're all just so pretty and I will swatch it for you because you need to see the beautifulness that is this highlighter. It's only I think seven dollars. It is such a good deal and it is beautiful. It's so light reflective and glowy and just gorgeous in general. Highly highly recommend picking up one of these whether you're just starting out with makeup or you've been in the makeup world for a long time and you just haven't tried this, try it now. You will not regret it. Pick up whatever shade you want. It's good. And finally, I'm going to bring this around to lips, which is my favorite makeup category in general. And one of my favorite brands is the Maybelline Color Sensational lipsticks. They all have this kind of square packaging, usually like a frosty tube, but some of them are clear, like a, they're colored, but they're see-through. They're not frosty, like matte like this. And these lipsticks are so good. They're cheap. They're only, you know, around $7. And I will have all of these products that I can find linked down below, priced and linked, so you can check them out for yourself. But these are, you know, Target or wherever you find Maybelline makeup in general. And this one is in the shade Lust for Blush. This is one of my favorites. I'm not wearing it today. I think I'm, I'm wearing a different one. Let me see if I can grab it. Yeah, I'm wearing Pink Pop. This is what I was talking about, that clear packaging. I'm gonna swatch this, this is one of my favorites. And their formula is just so good. It's not patchy, it's creamy. It doesn't smell bad, it smells like a little bit makeup-y, but it's not like that burnt smell or anything like that. It's not offensive at all, and it's just, oh, it's so good. And I have used this one especially a lot because this is one of those shades that's universally flattering, this kind of mauve, cool-toned, purpley pink color. It's just so pretty and looks good on everyone, and I love this shade. It's just, it's so good, and I definitely recommend picking up at least one of these in whatever shade you're most comfortable in, whether it's a red or a bright pink or a purple, whatever color you like, recommend these highly. All right, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I have put a lot of thought into what ones I would show you because I wanted to pick out the things that I have used and loved in the past and also I know are affordable for people who are just starting out in makeup. If you want to see more types of videos like these, if you want me to pick other brands of makeup products that I like for other starter kits in case these aren't ones that particularly interest you, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. Give me a thumbs up and I will know that you guys enjoyed this video and maybe we'll do some more. That is going to be it for me today, so until next time, I will see you all very, very soon. Bye! And uh, I'm going to get into everything else that's actually interesting. I personally don't find foundation interesting. The theme is sunshine, cheers, joy, togetherness, outdoor festivities. Okay, this is on top, so it's exciting.